So I am uh, now pastoring my first church. I'm 26 years of age. I have three earned university degrees. I think I'm ready. I wasn't about ready. Uh, the phone rang on my desk on a Monday morning, and uh, I'll call the lady Miss Smith. Uh, she phones and says, is this Pastor Hagee? I said, yes, it is. She said, would you come and pray for me? I said, uh, why did you call me? She said, well, you have a sign out there in front of your church for prayer call, and I'm calling you. I said, okay. I said, um, why, why do you want me to pray for you? She said, I think I have a demon spirit. Now, I had never heard that over a phone. I'd never heard a teaching on it from my denomination. And I said, are you a member of my church? And she said, no. And I put my hand over the phone and said, thank God. <laughs> you know, she, thank God. And so she said, but I still want you to come and pray for me. And I said, okay, I will. Where do you live? So I took her number, a dress down and I drove over to her house. And it, it, was, a, it was a mansion. Um, she came to the door, immaculately dressed. She's a tall woman, dressed in solid white. I thought it was something strange that we wouldn't talk about the Prince of Darkness and she's dressed <laughs> totally white. We walk into her den. That was a beautiful den. She sat down on a white leather couch and I said, tell me your story. She said, my husband is an executive. He's out of town five days a week and I have a lot of time on my hands and I've been playing tarot cards. And I said, mm, that's not good. Uh, I said, so tell me, why, why does that require prayer? And because I'm looking for a card out of there. <laughs> and um, I, she was very intelligent. Yeah. And so she said, well, I was playing cards uh, two nights ago at that table. And as I'm playing cards, the front door of my house opened and I heard something walk down the hall and it entered me. Mm. And at that point in time, the hair on the back of my head starts to stand up just a little bit. I said, it did what? And she said, it entered me. I'm going through the Rolodex of my mind of my graduate school abnormal psychology. What? category does she fit in? And <clears throat> she said, and it's there now. I said, why do you think it's there? She said, because from the time that that thing entered me, I have used the most vulgar language, thought the most hideous thoughts, vulgar thoughts. She said, I actually think I'm capable of murder without remorse. Mm. And I said, hmm, <laughs> she's got a problem. So I said, I'll tell you what, Miss Smith, I'm going to read the story of the demoniac of Gadara to you. And let's just see what happens. And I open my Bible and start to read that story. As I read the story, about two minutes into that scripture reading, she begins to contort. She reaches down and grabs her ankles and pumps her knees up in the air and her head is right down here and she looks me right in the face with a masculine voice and said, I hate you, John Agee. I said, it generally takes a while. <laughs> I'd never seen anything like that in my life. I thought, where do you want that new five foot eight door on the side of your house? Because I'm getting ready to go right through that wall. And I <clears throat> kept reading the Bible. I didn't know what else to do. And I kept reading the Bible, hoping it would go away. And, um, Boy, you talk it, about getting an education. It didn't. <laughs> Whoa. So I closed the Bible and she's still over there writhing and I said, Lord Jesus Christ, I do not know what's wrong with this woman. I have a lot of education, but I don't have a theology to match 
what's happening to her. God bless you. And I said, in the authority of Jesus' name and by the shed blood of the cross, I take authority over what is in that woman. Mm -hmm. And I command whatever demon powers may be there to surrender and submit to the Lordship of the Son of God. And if I had shot her, she would not have fallen off the couch any quicker, just bang. Thank you, Jesus. And she laid there for about two minutes and looked up and said, what am I doing here on the floor? I said, I, I believe you've been delivered from a demon spirit. And she got up and said, well, it's gone. It is gone.